Let's talk about conspiracy theories. Thanks to the internet, they are everywhere. And some of them are insane. There are Ukrainian killer dolphins on the loose. Failing doesn't exist. The US First Lady is using a body double. Michael Jackson is still alive. Major celebrities are in the Illuminati. Aliens walk amongst us. Stevie Wonder is not blind. That's right. He's been faking it for 69 years. He just loves doing this, he's obsessed. There's loads! What blew my mind? 60% of Britons believe them. Do you know, two million people in this country believe the Earth is flat. <laughs> and do you know what they call people who disagree with them? Globetards. <laughs> <laughs> it gets madder. There are people out there who actually believe that the Queen is a cannibal! <laughs> of all the theory... How can that be true? How can you be a cannibal and knight somebody? Imagine that! Just holding a knife. Oh, God. <laughs> so tasty. <laughs> Must not eat that flesh. <laughs> God save this man for tea. <laughs> He'd be nice with gravy. <laughs> num, num, num. It's not just the Queen. Some people believe that the moon isn't real. It's just a projection. <laughs> That's right, every night someone turns the moon on. As in, you know, they turn it on, they're not like... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to see that every night. My turn, oh, you like that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you cheesy tart. <laughs> the, the point I'm making... It's everywhere! Even the finest minds of our generation have their conspiracies. The world is run by lizard people. Yes! <laughs> lizard people fucking run the world. Reptilians. Like, the, all the richest, famous, like, biggest motherfuckers in this world. That's exactly fucking... what I believe. Apparently, there's 11 of them. Now... <laughs> it's nuts, isn't it? I don't have extensive reptilian knowledge, but whenever I've seen a lizard, they just do this. I mean, you normally see them on holiday. Oh, it's a lizard. No, not a lizard. <laughs> I'm a wall, mate. You've got me confused. <laughs> With a wolf. <laughs> they don't even run away. They're just like, fucking green. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, they don't seem capable of forming a global elite. <laughs> Imagine that on Atomer. Here we see the lizard. Fuck me. <laughs> he's just put on a suit. <laughs> and he's rigged the global banking system. <laughs> I gotta stop licking these frogs. <laughs> Doesn't happen, right? <laughs> so why do so many people believe in these conspiracy theories? Well, the answer is clearly YouTube. You go online because you're curious about flat earthers, so you watch a reasonable video with a balanced view. Then, on the sidebar, it suggests other videos, and those videos are a bit more hardcore. They gradually get more and more extreme, and before you know it, the Earth looks like a pancake, the Queen eats babies, and Stevie Wonder's eyes are better than a hawk. <laughs> but then I'm just a globetard. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, Russ, this is pretty harmless. That is where anti-vaxxers come in. I used to think vaccines were safe and now I know that they are not. So-called anti-vaxxers have blanketed social media with misinformation campaigns. Do not have to panic about measles. Do I believe that I'm causing harm by not vaccinating my child? No, I don't. Well, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> simple as that. It's basic. Because anti-vaxxers don't give their kids the MMR jab because they think it causes autism. They believe this based on one study of 12 children that claimed there was a link, a study done by a fraudulent doctor who's since been struck off. Since that bullshit research, there have been studies of over one million children that found no link between MMR and autism whatsoever. Basically, if you don't give your kids the jab, they may die. But hey, why believe evidence when it's something as trivial as your child's fucking health? Besides, it's offensive to autistic people. I think this guy puts it best. I'd rather be autistic than an idiot. <laughs> so I'm not... I mean, look. It's a good thing to question the world. Not everything you read is real. I mean, look at me. There was a story about me being a Scientologist. I'm not. 
Someone said I was in Shaun of the Dead. I wasn't. <laughs> there was even a rumour that I'd done a porno. Listen, <laughs> MP... <laughs> MPs do bullshit. <laughs> Journalists do lie. That doesn't mean there's a conspiracy. Do you know why? We're just not clever enough. We can't all... We don't know when the bins go out. Most of us... <laughs> Most of us are terrified when we change a light bulb. Is it definitely off? Is it definitely off? <laughs> definitely off, so I'm doing it now. I'm sh yeah. <laughs> Just a fucking lizard in the corner, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say... If you want to sail off the edge of the world or feed yourself to the Queen, knock yourself out. But there is no link between vaccinating your kids and autism. Even Stevie Wonder can see that. <laughs> what makes it worse? Not everyone's keen on the vaccine. To the new coronavirus vaccine, and the government is expected to face some resistance when it's finally made available. A YouGov poll suggests one in five British adults will turn it down. Probably because the internet is full of lies. You Google vaccines, you see more bollocks than a rugby club party. I mean, listen to this guy. It's the most significant medical issue in society today is the injury from vaccinations. No, it's not. In this country, since 1978, 22 people on average per year were harmed by vaccines. To put that into context, 3,078 per year are injured by slippers, 315 by photo frames, and over 1,000 by Christmas trees. And that's not even counting the anal injuries to fairies. <laughs> Poor vaccines. They've got worse PR than Meghan Markle, which is pretty depressing, because they've got rid of diseases like smallpox, polio and tetanus that used to kill or disable millions. Why do so many people hate science? Think of all the things it's given us. Electricity, medicine, the internet. I mean, not all of it's useful. A fertility researcher dressed 75 rats in rodent-sized trousers to see how it affected their sex lives. Turns out lady rats hate jackings. But by and large, science is magnificent. The main concern seems to be with the speed of the vaccine. Some are worried about how quickly the vaccines have been produced, saying they might not have been adequately tested. Why is it so quick? Well, after Ebola, scientists were already working on what to do if another pandemic came along. COVID-19 was very similar to SARS and MERS, which meant they already knew how the little fucker behaved. So they modified a virus that infects chimps to produce the same spike protein from COVID. The body then produces antibodies that recognize these spike proteins as a threat. So when COVID attacks, our immune system is ready to kick its ass. Oh, and they started working on this two weeks after it was discovered in Wuhan. That's literally 19 weeks before Donald Trump told us to inject toilet duck. Next up was the testing. Stage one, very, very small to check it doesn't fuck you up. Stage two, slightly bigger to see if the vaccine works. And stage three, inject thousands to check A, if it works, and B, it doesn't fuck you up. Now, normally, scientists have to apply for grants, get them rejected, write them again, get approval, and find people, let's not muck around, mad enough to inject experimental drugs. Now, this normally takes years. Because the world was locked down with nothing to do with Zoom quizzes, baking, or cutting their kid's hair to look like a pensioner, <laughs> things sped up, the money rolled in, scientists stopped sewing sexy rat trousers, and thousands of volunteers said, pump that monkey magic in my eye. All the while, governments bought what's technically known as a shitload just in case they worked. That is why it was so quick. But then some people think it's more sinister. Listen to the reason why they wouldn't take it. They wouldn't take a vaccine because of Bill Gates. Bill Gates? Why? I personally believe that Bill Gates has put a chip inside of these vaccines and that they are going to make us all get them. I'm not having it. Bill Gates wants to put a chip in my brain and read my thoughts. I just want to be left alone. And yet, you're on TikTok. Bill Gates can't control the world. He can barely control his arms. Can you do the dab real quick? Damn, Bill. Damn, Bill. Back at it again with the dab. That's not the dab. That's quarter to 11. He looks like a broken bottle opener. 
It's not just Gates. Some people believe this about the vaccine. That it was part of a fascist plot or a conspiracy by the global government. Global government. The UK couldn't organize a track and trace system. The Americans couldn't tell the difference between a hotel and a landscaping center. And Sweden, wow. For 15 years, the Swedish government thought enemy submarines were invading its territory. And what were the strange noises their radars were picking up? Turn out to be herring farts. <laughs> Forget rat trousers, we need fish nappies. It's not just the government. Some people think COVID is linked to the evils of 5G. Some claim 5G can suppress the immune system. Others that the mobile technology somehow transmits the virus. The government are using the virus to cover up the fact that they're rolling out 5G, which is a war weapon. It superheats the water molecules in your brain, eyes and testicles. Not only does it give you COVID, it makes your balls explode. Now, what's fascinating, these kind of conspiracies aren't new. During the plague, there were loads. People thought you could catch it from staring, bad smells, and wearing pointed shoes, which was terrible news if you're a farty, pervy little goblin. But what has changed is the way we get our news. We are bombarded by goons like this. There's no proof that a two-week lockdown is going to make a blind bit of difference to infection rates. They're telling us it's a pandemic. It's a pack of lies. It was a man-made virus transferred by Obama and Homeland Security in 2015 to China. It's not my view. It's scientific fact. Yeah, people are going to die. It's just terrible, but, like, inevitable. Who's dead? I'm not. I'm still alive. Why do some people believe celebs over science, we become obsessed with looks. Take Chris Whitty, chief medical officer and epidemiological expert. So, how did the Daily Mail describe him? The professor with poached egg eyes. I can't listen to him. His eyes are like breakfast. <laughs> and the thing is, they're not. This is what poached egg eyes look like. <laughs> but our obsession with beauty over brains has even infiltrated parliament, government paid reality TV stars to promote NHS test and trace. Now, call me wacky. I'm not sure these are the best people to trust with life and death information. Essex is a continent. No. No, it's a county. Oh, what, a country? A county. What's the difference country. between a county and a country? Country. So, a country is like England. Yeah. So, Wales is, is in country. Cardiff. No, Cardiff's the capital of yeah, Wales. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm from Liverpool, so I live in a country. Not Liverpool's a city. A city. Yeah. If you go on a plane and yeah. go to another place, that's still United Kingdom, Depends isn't it? Depends where. Where, yeah, where do you so, want to go? So Spain. That's not no, United that's Kingdom. Europe. <laughs> That's Europe. But it's still in the United Europe, Kingdom. No, no, Europe it's is out a continent. Of the e so it's in the EU. It's yeah. in Europe. It's in Europe. Ah. <laughs> Reality stars don't belong on the news. They belong on this. They should be eating bollocks, not talking it. <laughs>